So this is one of the uh, two major entrances to the Evergreen Nature Preserve. Uh, this is one of my favorite parks in Charlotte. Um, even before quarantine, I would always come down here because there's so few people seem to know about it. Um, even though it's not that hard to find, maybe it's one tiny little level of difficulty of finding. Uh, in Quarantine World 2020, I came down a lot. Wonderful place to get alone in the woods. Uh, it is more crowded than it used to be, I think, because they started putting up maps and signs. But for those who like a little more safety in their walks, uh, the maps and signs seemed to help. As soon as they went up, I started seeing a lot more couples and families in here. You can see that Evergreen Nature Preserve is beside Evergreen Cemetery. Uh, to, right now, I'm at the entrance that's right behind Sheffield Park, which makes it a little tricky to find. You got to go through the park. Um, the park is right beside Winterfield Elementary School. Here's a wider view of the park. The other main entrance is at the Eastway Middle School. Uh, that's got actually bathrooms there, which is nice. There are no other bathrooms in the park. Let's go have a hike. Here's your first big decision. Creek crossing. Well, creek crossing has a creek you have to cross. Sometimes that gets a little muddy. Uh, if I took a right, I would be hitting eventually the mosque, which is just outside the park. The Progress Lane, you take that little side exit entrance, you have a nice little surprise. Which is this adorable little mosque and minaret. Uh, and here's the other part of the creek crossing. Today you'll see the creek is not much of a creek. But I always like this creek. It's a little bit different than most creeks in Charlotte. And A, it's tiny. I always like to imagine fairies living here. This is a creepy shed that's in the woods. I always get a kick out of this lonely, creepy shed. Um, it's not quite on a trail, which, you know, adds to the creepiness. Let's go inside. Creepy, right? This is one of the secret benches in the park. There are benches on various trails and there's a couple benches not on trails that I guess are left over from when there used to be a trail here. Uh, and I like the secret benches. I can sit by myself in the woods. Unfortunately this wood is missing two planks so it's not as comfortable as it used to be. In Arizona they would call it a river. So the park is right beside the Evergreen Cemetery, so some of the little offshoots go into the cemetery, or you, which you could add to your walk. It is a pretty little cemetery. I once heard a mariachi band here. But there's two people out there today. Trail sign. The heat. The jungle out there. Now we're coming back to the other main entrance to the park. So look for the dirt trail that's off of the concrete trail. There is a sign. Of course. 
And here's the other major entrance. Oh, look, an address you can put into Google. 1336 Norland Road. I'm pretty sure that in movies, if they want to make a character look arrogant or even cocky so the audience doesn't like that super villain, they have him eat an apple. And then they dialogue while eating the apple. They tell their evil plans.